What is going on, YouTube? This is Gavin21202, aka Gavin Orlandi, here bringing you all of the latest backstage WWE news, rumors, headlines, and updates in regards to everything pro wrestling, everything WWE, in the form of a single WWE news topic video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are having yourself a fantastic day so far. My morning's been, it's been alright, um, but with that being said, when the news of this came to me, I don't, I don't know how I, I, I didn't know how to feel. Because, ladies and gentlemen, The Undertaker is not yet retired for WrestleMania because The Undertaker is reportedly scheduled for WWE's next Saudi Arabia show in May. So that will take place May 3rd, 2019 in Saudi Arabia. And while obviously after signing on to be a part of StarCast WrestleMania weekend, The Undertaker will most likely not appear at this year's WrestleMania. And if he does, in a non-wrestling capacity. With that being said, a lot of people are saying Taker's to the point in his career where his age is affecting him. It's to the point where WWE does not want to use him or doesn't want to use him because of his just because of how slow he is. And they don't want to use him because if he's not comfortable in the ring, they don't want to put him in that predicament to where he's gonna wrestle, he's gonna get injured, and it's it's gonna cause a whole thing because as of right now, Taker is not yet retired, so there's no word on as of who Taker's opponent could be. Or if this will be uh, Taker's last match. I personally think Taker's last match should take place in the United States. Nothing against Saudi Arabia. I just think the base of fans here in the United States, it's just like a different... It's a whole different array of fans in Saudi Arabia. Like, I, I, you guys know what I'm saying. But, like, honestly... The Undertaker age has caught up to him. I think WWE could have produced a, a retirement match from last year. They had the opportunity to do that at WrestleMania, but they blew it with Cena. Having Cena just get squashed, not really damaging Cena's reputation, but it, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of put a damper on Taker's because everyone was like, oh, Taker, he just came back and defeated Cena. He couldn't take bumps. He can't bump anymore. He's too old for this, but... It seems as Undertaker's career is winding down, only wrestling one, two, maybe three times a year is the right thing to do if he's not yet fully retired because it seems that coming up very soon, The Undertaker will retire from WWE and move on to other outside projects. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, throw down in the comment section what you guys think about this. Who do you guys think that Undertaker will end up facing at Saudi Arabia? Uh, when do you think he's going to retire and do you think this is the right move? So, ladies and gentlemen... He's obviously doing it for the nice, pretty paycheck that is going to be provided for, to him because of the Saudi Arabia show and how much money WWE makes from Saudi Arabia. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, North going to bring you all the latest WWE news, rumors, headlines, and updates. I need you guys to do me a couple things, and that is to like this video, favorite this video, share this on every social media platform that is humanly possible, and do me one last thing, and definitely subscribe. Thanks, guys. Love each and every single one of you. Gavin21202, out. Whoops.